Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us read this word of God that is from the Gospel of Luke chapter 5 verse 1 onwards. We read like this. Gospel of Luke chapter 5 verse 1 onwards. We read like this. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesareth and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God. Verse 2. And we read like this. He saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long but have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish that they had taken. My dear brothers and sisters, we were reflecting, we started to reflect about this Bible passage the other day. Let us continue reflecting. The first and more, the, there is a miracle that happened in the life of Peter. Unexpected miracle. They were empty the previous whole night, though they worked hard, their boat was empty. They were a well expert in the fishing. He knew in and out of the fishing and also the lake Ganesareth. But he did not get anything, not even a single fish. It was an utter failure of his effort. But when the Lord came and did something, it was a successful business. His business was successful. His life was meaningful. Everything was sorted. Because D Jesus did something. Let us see what happened here. What made change in the life of Peter? What brought, bring changes in the life of you and me? Let us see what brought changes in the life of Peter. The first and most important thing that happened was this. Chapter 5 verse 2. We read like this. He saw, Jesus saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Verse 3. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon. Praise the Lord. Praise the, the most Lord. important point that we need to remember, if you really want a change in your life, allow Jesus to enter into your boats. Enter into your boat, that is your life. Your life is your boat. Your business is your boat. Your livelihood, your office, your work, your responsibility, your livelihood is your boat. Make sure, allow Jesus to enter into your boat. We have a tendency, we keep secular life and spiritual life separately. We have one attitude inside the church, different attitude outside the church. Inside the church, we are very prayerful. We say, praise the Lord, hallelujah. We are Christians and we profess our faith inside the church. But outside the church, in our business area, working area, wherever we go for entertainment, enjoyment, or even to go for studies or work, wherever we go, we hide our spiritual life. We hide our faith. We are ashamed to profess our faith. We are not ready to follow the teaching of Jesus there outside Therefore, knowingly or unknowingly, we keep a distance, separation between secular life and spiritual life. That means we are telling Jesus, Jesus, I am happy with you, but you just keep a distance. You be inside the church, don't come to my boat. My livelihood, my office, my work, you are not allowed. You are just supposed to be inside the tabernacle, we will make sure to lock you inside. And we will come every Sunday and receive you and will go out. And other than this, we don't want a business with you. This is how we normally deal with our Lord. No wonder our business is not flourishing. No wonder our family, our livelihood is not so blessed. 
no wonder something is lacking in our daily life but what happened to peter peter's livelihood was empty his boat was empty but he did one thing he allowed jesus to enter into his boat he allowed jesus to enter into his boat that made the whole situation change that is the beginning of his transformation beginning of his blessing beginning of mighty anointing mighty protection in his family that was the beginning of his ministry my dear brothers and sisters for you and for me for all of us the most important point that we need to remember is allow jesus to enter into your life enter into your business enter into your studies enter into your relationship enter into any entertainment that we are any business that we any work that we do allow jesus to enter there follow the instructions of jesus in wherever you do whatever you do that is the beginning of your transformation beginning of your success beginning of your business life that is the beginning of every blessing praise the lord